Ever wondered how to control your mind from bad habits? The mind is an incredible tool. It's like a powerful supercomputer processing millions of thoughts and ideas every single day. Yet just like a computer, the mind can also fall prey to viruses in the form of bad habits. These habits can dictate our actions, influence our emotions, and even shape our identity. But here's the good news. Just as a virus can be removed, so can bad habits. The key lies in understanding the power of the mind and harnessing its potential. Think about it. Our habits, both good and bad, are deeply ingrained in our minds, a result of years of repetition. They've become automatic responses that we don't even think about. But what if we could intercept these responses? What if we could rewire our minds to replace these bad habits with good ones? To do this, we must first understand the nature of habits. They're not inherently evil. They're just patterns of behavior that we've learned over time. Some habits, like brushing our teeth or eating healthy, are beneficial. They promote good health and well-being. But others, like procrastination or eating junk food, are detrimental. They hold us back from achieving our potential and living our best lives. The late, great Muhammad Ali once said, it's the repetition of affirmations that leads to belief. And once that belief becomes a deep conviction, things begin to happen. These words hold a profound truth. Our habits, after all, are nothing more than repeated actions. And these actions stem from deeply held beliefs and convictions. So the difference between a good habit and a bad one lies not in the habit itself, but in the belief that underlies it. A belief that eating junk food is comforting leads to the habit of unhealthy eating. But a belief that healthy food nourishes the body leads to the habit of eating well. The power to change our habits, therefore, lies in changing our beliefs. And the first step to changing our beliefs is recognizing them. As we begin to recognize the beliefs that underlie our habits, we can start to take control of our minds. We can start to rewrite our narratives, to change our stories, and ultimately, to change our lives. The first step to controlling your mind from bad habits is recognizing them. What are bad habits and how do they impact us? Now that's a question that can lead us down quite a rabbit hole. Let's start by defining what we mean by bad habits. In essence, these are behaviors that we engage in repetitively, often without much thought, that are detrimental to our well-being. They can range from seemingly innocuous habits like biting your nails to more harmful ones, such as excessive drinking or smoking. But it's not just about physical habits. Bad habits can also manifest in our thoughts and attitudes. For instance, you might have a habit of negative self-talk, constantly belittling yourself and your achievements. Or perhaps you're always procrastinating, putting off tasks until the last minute. These habits, both physical and mental, can have a profound impact on our lives and our minds. They can affect our health, our relationships, our productivity, and our overall sense of happiness and contentment. Think about it. If you're constantly telling yourself that you're not good enough or that you're bound to fail, how do you think that's going to affect your confidence, your motivation, and your willingness to take on new challenges? Or if you're always reaching for that extra drink or cigarette, what do you think that's doing to your body and your long-term health? But here's the good news. Bad habits are not set in stone. They're not an integral part of who we are. They're simply behaviors that we've learned and reinforced over time. And just as we've learned these behaviors, we can unlearn them too. As the great Aristotle once said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. So let's shift our focus from the bad habits that are holding us back to the good habits that can propel us forward. Once we recognize these bad habits, we can then work towards changing them. How can we change these bad habits? Welcome to the heart of the matter. Changing bad habits is not a one-time event, but a process, a journey of self-discovery and resilience. It starts with the mind, the powerhouse of all our actions. First, we must understand that our mind is like a garden. It can either be cultivated to produce nourishing fruits or left untended, allowing weeds of bad habits to flourish. Our thoughts are the seeds. Negative thoughts foster negative habits, while positive thoughts nurture good habits. The choice of seeds we plant is entirely up to us. 
The next step in this process is identifying the triggers of our bad habits. These triggers could be certain situations, emotions, or even people. Just as a gardener needs to recognize the weeds, we must be able to pinpoint what sparks our bad habits. Once we've identified these triggers, we can start working on strategies to avoid or handle them effectively. Now, let's talk about replacement. It's not enough to merely stop a bad habit, we need to replace it with a good one. If we don't, we leave a void that the bad habit will promptly fill again. Aristotle, the Greek philosopher, once said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. So let's strive for excellence by replacing our bad habits with good ones. The fourth step is reinforcement. Reward yourself when you successfully fight off a bad habit. This positive reinforcement strengthens your resolve and makes the process more enjoyable. The last but not the least step is patience. Change doesn't happen overnight, it takes time and constant effort. You might falter, but that's okay. It's not about never failing, it's about getting back up every time you do. As Thomas Edison wisely put it, our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is always to try just one more time. Remember, changing bad habits is a process that requires time and patience. So, let's begin this journey of transformation today, because every day is another chance to become the best version of ourselves. What role does determination play in controlling our mind from bad habits? Now, this is a question that carries immense weight. It's almost as if we're asking, how vital is the heart in keeping us alive? The answer, as you might imagine, is incredibly vital. Let's delve deeper. Picture determination as a steadfast ship sailing against a strong tide. The tide symbolizes our bad habits, ever ready to push us back into familiar territories. But with the ship of determination, we press on. We may be slowed, but we aren't defeated. We continue to forge ahead, even when the odds seem stacked against us. But why? Why do we persist? It's because of the understanding that the journey to change isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. It's a long road that requires endurance, patience, and yes, a strong sense of determination. Now let's bring in some wisdom from a man who knew a thing or two about determination, Thomas Edison. He once said, our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is always to try just one more time. Edison wasn't just talking about experiments and inventions. His words echo in every aspect of life, including our quest to control our minds and change our habits. To give up is to accept defeat, but to try just one more time to keep pushing that's where success lies. That's where change happens. So when we're fighting against a bad habit, when we're trying to steer our mind in a new direction, it's determination that keeps us going. It's determination that gets us up after every setback. It's determination that gives us the strength to say, I will try just one more time. In essence, determination is the fuel that powers our journey towards change. Without it, we may start strong, but we'll soon lose momentum. With it, however, we can keep going, keep striving, keep changing until we've reached our goal. In conclusion, determination isn't just a side player in our battle against bad habits. It isn't a luxury, it's a necessity. It's the backbone of change, the key to controlling our mind from bad habits. With determination, we can overcome any bad habit. Why is consistency important in controlling our mind from bad habits? Well, let's dive right in. Imagine you're trying to grow a garden. You plant your seeds and water them on the first day, but then you forget about them for a week. When you finally remember to care for them again, you find the seeds haven't sprouted. This is because growth, whether it's a plant or our personal development, requires consistent action. Just like the garden, our minds need regular, consistent care to overcome bad habits. It's not enough to make a decision to change once, and then forget about it. Our brains are wired to follow patterns. When we consistently choose good habits over bad ones, these patterns start to change. The neural pathways associated with the bad habits weaken, while those associated with the good habits strengthen. But consistency isn't just about repetition, it's also about perseverance. There will be days when it's harder to stick to your new habits. Maybe you're tired, stressed, or just not feeling it but it's on those days when consistency matters the most. As Aristotle once said, we are what we repeatedly do. 
Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. So, how do you maintain consistency? One way is to set clear, achievable goals. Instead of saying, I want to stop procrastinating, say, I will work on my project for 30 minutes each day. This gives you a clear action to follow and makes it easier to stay consistent. Another strategy is to create a routine. Our brains love predictability. By incorporating your new habits into a daily routine, you make it easier for your brain to anticipate and follow through with them. Remember, consistency doesn't mean perfection. There will be days when you stumble. But instead of beating yourself up, use these moments as opportunities to learn and grow. Each stumble is a step forward as long as you keep moving. Consistency and maintaining good habits is like building a bridge. Each day, each action is a brick in that bridge. The more consistently you add bricks, the stronger your bridge becomes until one day you find you've reached the other side. Consistency is the key to maintaining control over our mind and habits. How can positive thinking help us control our mind from bad habits? In our journey to control our mind from bad habits, harnessing the power of positive thinking is a monumental step. You see, our mind is a powerful tool and the thoughts that fill it can shape our actions, our habits, and ultimately, our lives. Positive thinking is not mere optimism. It is an attitude, a mindset that radiates energy. It's about acknowledging that challenges exist, yet understanding that we have the resilience and the strength to overcome them. It's about focusing on the good in every situation, even when it seems overwhelmingly negative. Let's consider a quote from Mahatma Gandhi, a man who is widely known for his wisdom and his ability to inspire change. He once said, a man is but the product of his thoughts. What he thinks, he becomes. This profound statement embodies the essence of positive thinking and its transformative power. Imagine if we apply this concept to our quest to break free from bad habits. If we continually tell ourselves that we are victims of our habits, we remain stuck in a cycle. But if we shift our thoughts, if we start to believe that we have the power to change, to overcome, to grow, then we begin to see a shift in our actions and behaviors. Positive thinking is like planting a seed in fertile soil. It needs nurturing, care, and time to grow. And just like how a tiny seed can grow into a towering tree, a single positive thought can spark a change that can drastically alter our habits. So let's begin to cultivate positivity. Let's fill our minds with thoughts of success, growth, and improvement. Let's envision ourselves breaking free from the chains of our bad habits. Remember, our thoughts have the power to shape our reality. So let's choose to think positively. Let's choose to believe in our capacity for change. Think positive and positive things will happen. It's not just a catchy phrase. It's a powerful mantra that can guide us in our quest to control our mind from bad habits. Before we wrap up, consider subscribing to our channel and hitting that notification button for more inspiring content. As we near the end of our journey, it's time to reflect on the ground we've covered. We began by exploring the power of the mind, a force so potent it can shape our reality. In understanding this, we recognize that our minds, with their impressive power, are a compass guiding us through life. We then moved on to recognizing bad habits, those pesky intruders that sneak into our lives, often unnoticed. We learned that the first step to change is awareness. By identifying these habits, we empower ourselves to take control and initiate change. This led us to the process of changing bad habits. It's not an overnight task, but a journey of a thousand steps. With patience and understanding, we can replace these habits with ones that serve us rather than hinder us. Remember, it's not about perfection, it's about progress. We then delved into the role of determination. Determination is the fuel that powers our journey of change. It's the driving force that keeps us going when the going gets tough. It's the determination that makes us get up each time we fall and continue on our path towards betterment. The importance of consistency was our next stop. Consistency, as we discussed, is the key to lasting change. It's not about the intensity of our efforts, but the consistency of them. 
It's the small steps taken each day that lead to big changes over time. Our last point of discussion was the power of positive thinking. A positive mindset, we learned, can be a game changer. It's the lens through which we view our world, and it has the power to turn obstacles into opportunities. Now, as we conclude, it's time for action. It's time to take the reins of your mind and steer it away from bad habits. It's time to apply the knowledge you've gained and make a positive change in your life. And remember, you're not alone in this journey. There are countless others out there, just like you, striving to better themselves. So why not share this video with them? Let's spread the wisdom and inspire change together. In the words of the great philosopher Aristotle, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. Let's strive to make excellence our habit. Let's strive to be the best versions of ourselves, not just for us, but for those around us. As we part ways today, remember that the power to change lies within you. It's in your hands, in your mind, and in your spirit. It's a journey worth embarking on, and a destination worth reaching. Until next time, keep growing, keep inspiring, and keep making excellence your habit.